viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. So this 04 Hondu CRV came in with the money light on and your classic knock sensor code. Just wanted to take a minute, it's going to be a short video. I wanted to demonstrate, of course, the knock sensor and, and how it works. Uh, and not only that, but also the importance in this case of having a scope where, yeah, you could have shot the parts cannon at it, put a knock sensor in it based on, you know, code only. And you would have been right, uh, but it's kind of neat to actually use a scope. See a sensor that ohm tests perfect, plus looking at it, uh, let's say you looked at it with a voltmeter and you were just looking at the AC voltage that it could put out, it tests good. So what do you do in that case? Um, if you're not a parts changer and you get your voltage reading and you get your ohm reading and you say, okay, well this is good. And then you go back and check the ECM. Do you accidentally make the call on an ECM because the voltage signal and everything you have there is correct? It's a possibility. We're gonna see here in a moment on the scope that the waveform, however it is putting out the correct amplitude, you know, it's putting out a voltage that's within range on a regular analog meter, we can clearly see on the scope, the sensor is bunk. So there's both knock sensors. I have the new one, and no, it's not crushed in the vise, so don't get all wound up about that. And then of course we have the old one here. I've got them each hooked to one channel on the scope. So these are uh, a piezo sensor. They generate their own electricity. Uh, you know, they detect engine knock, ping, uh, more importantly than anything, uh, that happens at a circuit, certain frequency, and then it can retard the ignition timing to, you know, stop the pinging. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a peek at these on the scope. I've got a striking device. Every tool has a hammer side. We're gonna give it some taps. They should generate an AC waveform or what looks like an AC waveform. And um, make sure I got them just clamped in there ever so gingerly. I'll get that situated here. Uh, you don't want to crush them too tight. Uh, and then we're going to tap on it. We're going to look at the two waveforms and see what they look like. All right, so here we go. I've got the striking device now. Looking at the scope here, you guys can see we've got two traces, the blue trace and the red trace, so channel A and B. The blue trace is going to be our bad sensor, and the red trace is our new sensor. And I'll show you, I'm just going to tap on the device here. Tell you what, let me just change my voltage scale. Let's see, we're going a little out of range. We'll flick up to 10 volts here. There we go, we got an AC coupled. Just very gingerly tapping. Now you can do this in the car also. Here, we'll take and pause this. Now let's just enhance. We'll take a look at one of these waveforms here. We should see a nice, clean sine wave. So you can see our red trace here. So you see that, that's our new sensor, remember. Now I have a little gander there at the blue one. And the thing to notice is what's our peak voltage there? About, you know, 4.4. I think we're gonna find the same on our red trace also. Uh, just a smidge under. We'll say, you know, roughly four volts is what it appears. Three and a half, four and a half, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now we can take a look. We'll just take a peek at another one. I think you guys can see the see the problem going on here. Apparently, Hondu does not like the signal that's being generated by our old sensor. And you can see clearly, you know, we got a beautiful looking waveform on our red trace here. So that's on our new one. Uh, it can be kind of deceptive because, like I say, if you check this with an analog meter, you know, it's just going to average your AC voltage, and it looks perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, you know, it's going to show the same readings as, as the new one, and the resistance value is the same. So they can trick you. Um, like I say, in this case, you could have taken, swapped a, you know, a new one in there, and you'd have been correct. Uh, but what if you were, you know, trying to be diligent about not being a part changer? This thing is a son of a monkey to get to, and you're like, eh, you know, I really don't want to get in there and change it. Um, so for what it's worth, in my opinion, you know, scope is a very valuable tool to have in the shop. Uh, they're not unobtainable by, you know, DIYers. Certainly there's tons of them on the market in a very affordable price range. And that's it, guys. Just wanted to share that with you. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it down there in the comment box. Subscribe. You know what to do. All the other business. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.